What? 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 Oh, <laughs> you want to talk shop? All right, let's talk about tools. Let's talk about some tools back in a bit. Let me finish this. So Josh Ortiz, Ortiz, forgive me, I'm not sure how you pronounce your last name, but anyway, in Green Mountain, he asked, how do I like the uh, the Ryobi table saw? So we've been back and forth about that, and I've explained some things, so I want to explain it to you guys and actually show Josh in this video what I was talking about. But I have, you know, the Ryobi drill press, and of course your lower end drill presses will have a bit of a wobble um, in the chuck. This one's not too bad. And you probably won't be able to see it, but there is a tiny bit of a wobble in the chuck, and there's ways to straighten that out, but I don't fart around with that. Um, you, you know, got the Craftsman, one of the more expensive Craftsman chop saws, laser guided, and in order for me to have it, you know, a nice straight cut, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not exactly at zero, it's slightly that way. So it's not calibrated right, and I think it's because when they put the sticker on, they just threw it on there. They didn't put it on perfectly the way they should have. So other than that, I mean, that saw's good. But, you know, the whole moral of the story is your lower-end tools, um, when you try to buy things to save money, like uh, that's not one of the more expensive panel saws, and that's not calibrated properly. And more than likely, when they were putting this together, when they welded on, or like, I think that base is actually bolted on. I'm not sure if it's welded. Either they didn't put that straight, or up top they didn't put that straight. So, you know, I, I don't want to go messing around with this stuff. I'm not a tool specialist. I just operate them. So you just have to improvise. And what happens with your lower end, in this case Ryobi 10 inch 15 amp table saw, is they, they're not, they're just not put together with care. So what we have here, if I take the, I don't even use the gate. I don't use the gate. So if I put it, I put it over here. Come on, get on there. It's not even wanting to go on now. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Brain fart. You can see that the gate is straight right down the line. It's a nice straight line. But if I move the gate to the other side of the blade and I bring it right over to the blade and I lock it down let me grab this piece of paper here if I try to put this piece of paper in here it doesn't go behind the blade See, but if I put it over here it slides right behind that blade nicely so in this particular case what happened when they put it together was they didn't mount the motor perfectly straight. So m most of your cheaper tools, you're, you're going to have that problem. You're going to have tools that are just not calibrated perfectly and that irritates me to no end. So get rid of it. And what I do is I have different jigs and I'll just clamp it down. I'll take my measurement from one of the hog teeth on this end and on this end and clamp it down so it's nice and straight. That's how you get around that with these types of saws. And on here you have to sometimes shim it up on the bottom just a little tiny bit which can make an interesting end cut. I actually put this piece in and these pieces here 
which seem to remedy it nicely. And besides, when I'm cutting thinner pieces at the end of the cut, it's going to drop down in there and go cockeyed and the blade's going to catch it. So that's what I did with those, or with this. But that's uh, just a little shop 101 when you're considering tools. I mean, like this, uh, um, what is this? A skill saw. That's not calibrated right. The plate's not on the bottom properly. And my jigsaw, which I, I hardly ever use, the skill saw or the jigsaw. I mean, unless I'm building a, a, a jig for working. But the plate, the plate on that thing is astronomically off. I mean, whoever was putting that together had to be smoking crack or something. <laughs> Jeez, um, <laughs> but I just wanted to touch basis and uh, show that to Josh. I mean, you can you can almost visibly see it. I can. I don't know if you can in the video, but it's just not. It's not straight. The motor's in there cockeyed this way. So, but just wanted to shoot a short video and show you all that and especially Josh who asked the question now when you buy one it's not gonna have a blade on it so you'd actually have to buy it buy the blade bring it home unpackage it put it together and then see if it's got the same problem I used to take the gate put it on and then instead of dropping it at the measurement I wanted it back it off about a sixteenth of an inch tighten it down and then bump this side and check my measurement and then you have to wiggle it again and bump it and tap it and it just took so much damn time I said to hell with that so that's where it belongs it belongs somewhere else you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I don't, even, I don't even use it I use my own but anyway I thank you all for watching I've got more work I've got to do before eight o'clock hits and uh, so I'll catch y'all later don't forget to like share comment and subscribe take care everybody uh, there's the one thing in the shop that is calibrated right it blows straight <laughs>